Sonny, I appreciate you and your wife's kindness and want to me. But what I need right now is money to resuscitate my business. Uh, Obed, I wish I can help. You know me. But the only thing I can tell you is just to be strong. Everything will be fine. Who is this your auntie and where is she? No, she's in the house. Please come here, but she's dying, Uncle. Please, please. Please. Okay, let's go, let's go. Is this where she lives? Yes, yes. This way. Ben, where is Sabi? I agree to now. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well done, eh? Uh, now welcome. Wait, Obed, wait, are you trying to go in there? Uh, you, on your normal senses, who lives in an uncompleted building, if not criminals? Sonny, we are already here. Please, let's get to the root of the matter. Oh, root of the matter, eh? You want to go to the root, eh? It's fine, you can get to the root. But don't forget to scream so that I can take off if something happens to me inside eh? I am here. Get to the root. Yeah, bro, sit there. Okay. If you carry block, may just down. No worries, thank you. If truly she needs help, is this not human being here? Obed, 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 wait, wait, wait. Where are you taking us? To the hospital, of course. Are you high? Have you asked yourself, they, all these people here, why didn't they take, take her to the hospital? Eh? Uh-uh. She know well. What if she dies on, 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 on our way to the hospital? What will you do? Sonny, if we rush her to the hospital, she would not die in our hands. Please, let's rush her to the hospital. Please, Obed. And she go will take care of you. Obed! No more, sorry. Oh. Man, no die. You know, say things don't cost now. Bro, you don't go now. Bye bye. Good day, sir. <laughs> you look better now. It's the Lord's doing. Please help me thank your friend. I also want to thank you. God will bless both of you. Amen. Uh, how did it go? Fine. She's better now. The doctor said he's peptic also. Oh. Be on my way. Okay. Maybe I'll drop her off. Her. Which house? Her house. Come on, man. She can't go back there. She can put up here with me. Please, let's go inside.
But why do you like to romance with trouble? And what's that supposed to mean? Ah, Obed, a couple of years ago, you lost your family. You lost your business. You lost everything. All because you couldn't concentrate. Hmm? Are you not the one asking for two million naira to revive your business? And nobody agreed to give me the money. No one will. Because since your life started tumbling, you've been behaving irrational. Just like now. Just like now? How? Obed, how can a sane man bring in a total stranger into his home? A girl you know from nowhere. Obed, you hardly feed. You hardly take care of yourself. You accommodated her into your home. Obed, what is wrong with you? Are you thinking? What if this girl puts you into a big trouble? Huh? Are you thinking? You don't even know her. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. And I hope you can manage the room because it's been long someone occupied it. I'll get you more bishy tomorrow. No, no, no. You don't have to. You don't need to stress yourself more than you've already done. C compared to where I was, this is paradise. Oh, Jesus Christ. You. you speak so eloquently. How did you end up in the family? It's a long story, sir. <clears throat> listen, listen. His name is Sonny and mine is Obed. Can you just address us like that and do it with me, sir? Okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Obed. You are right. I am well educated. I read mass communication at the University of Lagos with a 2 one to show for it. I also have a certificate in business management. Up until a few months ago, I was the corporate affairs manager at Intel Limited. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Chief of BSS Intel Limited at Kingsway? Yes. Same, Mr. Obed. Wow, wow. Interesting. I used to purchase roofings and glass doors from them up until last year. Can you please continue? Okay. Um, my parents were okay with my father being a construction engineer. He built most of the high-rise buildings in Abuja. I had everything I ever wanted because I am the only child of my parents and I was born with a silver spoon. I met and decided to marry one Chris Adimora. My parents, especially my mother, objected to this. They just didn't like him. Was this seen as a good deal? It was not because he had no job. They just didn't like him. But because I stuck to my gun, they allowed me marry him. And my father supported us with a house. We were so happy. And everything seemed all right.
your day? You are still not happy. Am I supposed to be happy? Darling, I've been sleeping all day. Right now my body aches. Is that all? Isn't it enough? What if I told you your days of sleeping are over? How? I have good news. Good news? Yes, good news. <laughs> What's the good news? I spoke to my father about you. He has agreed to help you. Is it right? Yes. Wait, listen, just calm down. Oh, okay. Calm down, yes. He has promised to give you a quick loan to facilitate the business you want to do. What? <laughs> oh, the money. Darling, oh. well, that's a good news. I, I mean, oh, come on, you magician. I love you. I, I love you. In fact, I, I will love you till. Eternity. Sure? Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now I I believe that prayer works. Indeed. Indeed. Um, honey, just please, please, let's just let this be. You need to get your documents together because tomorrow will be a very busy day for you. Yes. And you have to go freshen up. When I get your food, oh, you're my queen. Yeah, I know, you're my you're king. No, <laughs> you're my everything. Oh, oh, honey, oh. <laughs> what? I am taking you to the bathroom. Oh, so, yeah. You are nothing. I am going to bathroom. Hereafter, you can come to the floor. Okay. Hello, honey. Darling, guess what? Just, just, just guess, just guess. The projects are completed and they have paid you, isn't it? They have, oh honey, they have. <laughs> I am just coming out from the bank. Honestly, this is like a dream to me. This is my first time touching millions. Hey! Honey, I am now a millionaire. I am now a millionaire. Yes, you are. You are, baby. And it's all the Lord's doing. Let's not forget that. Yes, and you're doing. And you're doing too. You know what? We are going to celebrate this. You and I are going to party as soon as I come back to the house. Whoa, I love the sound of that. <laughs> I am getting the drinks already. I'll get everything from here. <laughs> yes, I love you, darling. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Love you too. You'll see me soon. Just get ready for me, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. It's your boy, Jamie.
of joy in our marriage. We were so happy because Chris became successful. Within a year, he had bought a house and put tenants in it. He also set up some small businesses. Then, I became pregnant. And all of a sudden, Chris started misbehaving. How?
Mm. Why are you not sleeping in the room? Don't you know it's not good for your health? It's... It's past one already. Yes. Are you just coming in? I... Uh, I was worried about you. You don't have to be worried. I am back and safe. So, go to bed. Wait a minute, Chris. Why are you coming home by this time? What if something happens to you? Cut me some slack now. Eh? Can't I now go outside and have fresh air like a young man? Why all these interrogations? I was worried because I care for your safety. I need to know your whereabouts in case of emergency. I am fine. I am all right. I can take care of myself and you know it. I know that you can. But why are you home by this time? Why are you home late? Okay. You want to know? Yes. Mm. I was... I was out with some friends. You were out with some friends? What kind of friends would allow visitors in their homes by this time of the night? Don't they have families? Card. I must have left it in one of these trousers or shirts. Yes. I wonder how I would have met this call if I if I hadn't found it. I might as well check the other pockets in case. Yeah, other things. Other things? Yeah. I want to take the, the clothes to the dry cleaner today. Okay. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> sure, sure. to say something. Chris. Chris, what is this? What do you, what do you expect me to say? So this is it. This is what? The late nights? The hanging out with friends is all about? Chris, what is this? What, what you, is this? What do you want me to say? You can't force me to say something when I have nothing to say. If you... If you found a packet of condoms, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, 
I... I really do not know how to say it, but... I need you to know that it was just a one-time fling, okay? And nothing more. Yes. As I'm talking to you, I may not even recognize her if I say hi again. So, I am sorry. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. That's why I sit here every day worrying about you. You are out there frolicking with prostitutes. No. I just told you it was a one-off one thing. I didn't even do it passionately the way I used to do it. Yes, I remember I, I was drunk. Yes, I, I was drunk that day and I didn't know how she got into my room. <laughs> oh. You even got a room in a hotel. <sighs> Granted, you were drunk. Then she walked into your room unsolicited with a packet of condom. She undressed you, fitted the condom, and did it with you the first time. You were still drunk when she did it with you the second time. And kept the two remaining condoms in your pocket. Isn't that right? Understand me now. Eh? I am telling you, I am not having an affair with anyone. It's just that. Why are you so wicked? Why are you so cold hearted? Why? Why? Have you ever wondered? Have you ever wondered how I am doing? I go for Antinata, I go back here, I do the house chores. Have you ever cared to ask me how I go? Have you? Just look at my condition. You put me in this condition and you have the guts to cheat on me. You are so ungrateful. You are so, so ungrateful for all I have done in your life. You are ungrateful. Oh, that, that, that is it, right? That is it. That is it, Ogwea. I knew a day like this would come. When you will remind me how you and your father met me. You forced it out of my mouth. You did! I'll sleep in the guest room. That was the kind of man I married. He could not even apologize. He was so arrogant. Just a chauvinist who believed it is a meal who believed it is a man's world and whatever he did that was wrong he mustn't show weakness by owning up and apologizing to a woman especially his wife yeah so men are like that uh, let's not go into that for now the pregnancy i want to know what happened to it Chris continued his philandering with whoever the women were. One night, he came home late as usual.
Sweetie, why have you been avoiding me since yesterday? You have been behaving strangely. But let me warn you, you are making a grave mistake. Do you hear me? You can't leave me. Cut that call! Cut it! It's fine. Is this not too much for one person to endure? Don't tell me you believe in that tells by Mulai that girl is saying in there. Don't tell me that. Wait, are you trying to tell me you don't believe her? It's obvious. Can't you see it? The story is so sweet and pathetic. Eh? From the look of things, I think she's trying to get something out of you. And what is she likely to get from me? I don't have anything. She can see that from my apartment. I don't have money, I don't have job, not even property of my own. So tell me, what? Okay, fine. Then you know I'm her target. Eh? I'll be on my way. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. Come on, wait. You know we can't just throw out like that. That's wickedness. Obed, that girl is a stranger. 
I don't know her from Adams, and neither do you. So I don't, I don't see the reason you have to have bought a, a stranger in your house. Friendly advice, send that girl out of your house before she'll put you into a deep problem. Um, Sonny, I believe we can still listen to her. Let's hear her story. Just come, let's... Please, let's help her. Come. Go, go. It's okay, go in. go in. I'm behind you. Go, go. Please. I'm really sorry. I wasn't able to control my emotions. Please stand up. Stand up. I... I know my story sounds strange. And one might think I am trying to whip up sentiments. It's okay, your story is really touching and it would have been nice to get to the end of it. But it seems like opening old wounds and I wouldn't want to subject you to that pain. It's, it's fine. I assure you, I am alright to continue with my story. Please. I am not telling you this to curry sympathy. I'm only telling you because you've been of great help and I owe it to you. Hmm. It's okay. Now we're on the same page. We'd love to know what happened to your marriage, your job, and how come you never had anyone to help you and you ended up in the house? <sighs> After my parents died, my relatives abandoned me, blaming me for their death because according to them, I was warned that Chris is ill-locked. I don't know which was more painful, the loss of my parents or that of my child. I was so traumatized. That is why it is as if I have no one to fall back to. Apart from that, I was never really the outgoing person. So I had no close friends. The type one could run to in situations like this. Now I understand. Hello. What did you understand? I was shattered and it took me almost a year to recover from it all. While I was down, Chris' business was no more because his benefactor, my father, had died. In order for him to start up something for himself, he sold his landed properties. But he kept on losing money I couldn't explain what he did with the money. But that was when it dawned on me that I had to be strong and face life again.
Dale. I am the only one that can decide whether to die in grief or not. So I have decided to make the best out of this bad situation. I am going back to work. Really? That's good. That's good. So, uh, have you called them? Are they taking you back? I have called them. And yes, they are taking me back. I am happy to hear that. Honestly, I am happy that you've come out the stronger. Now I have my wife back. Honestly, I am very happy that you were able to overcome your grief and come back to work. I knew you were a fighter and would overcome. Welcome back to work, my dear. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your visitations while I was down. Your call strengthened me. And above all, you are giving me back my job. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Ma. You're welcome there. God bless you too. Madam Stella was kind enough to have given me back my job. I resumed work immediately and threw myself into it so as to forget my grief. And it worked. Due to my commitment and hard work, I was promoted to the corporate affairs manager. And that meant more work and office hours. Then, we had a visitor at home. From where? From I... Abba, Chris's cousin. Chris's cousin? Yes, yes. Is he expecting you? Because he didn't tell me anyone is coming. No, 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 no. I just wanted to surprise him. He's not aware that I'm coming. Which you said you're very beautiful. Thank hey, you. You're welcome. Let me help you with your luggage. Oh, thank yes. you very much. You're thank you. Hi. Come in. Name You're so fine. So fine. Being married to my cousin. <laughs> same old, same old. 
they are still what you know of him. They say ah. people don't change. Oh! <laughs> do, do you believe that? People change, especially when they are in love. Mm hmm True though, but after a while, they go back to who they are. <laughs> uh, you tell me. How is Abba? And mm. what were you doing there? Abba is just there, hustling and jostling. Yes. If you must survive in Abba, you must be guided by three things. First is money. Second is money. Thirdly is money. Abba is all about hustling, hustling, hustling. Pursuing money. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> you must be tired. Yes. Not to worry. Yeah. After you feel this here, you will be refreshed. Ah! I'm already enjoying your company. I'm already enjoying it. See, eh? It's just as if I have known you for a long time. Yes! You're such a nice person. Very nice. I really like you. <laughs> I can eh? say him. I like you so much. <laughs> I can say him too. <laughs> just come with me. Let me take you to your room. Oh, thank you. You need to freshen up while I prepare something for us. Oh, to thank you. Hey. Wow, your house is so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank hey. you. Oh my God. Welcome. Thank you. What's this aura around you? What's aura? You got some good news? What's aura? Well, I am just happy you are back. Oh. Yes, I am. And you have a visitor. Visitor? Who? Your sister. Are you joking? <laughs> She's joking, right? No. Honey, you and I know I don't have a sister. Oh, it's actually your cousin. Your cousin from Abba. Hey, Chris! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, oh, Chris! Oh, my God, good to see you. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing here? Chris, is this how you welcome your cousin that you've not seen for years? This is not fair, Chris, come on. Just go, just go, just go, go, go and stay. Listen, you are not invited here. You are not wanted here. Please, leave. Oh, oh, oh. That's not fair. Uh, listen, Amanda, listen to me. Listen. You are not going anywhere. I can promise you that. Okay? I will make sure I talk to him. Thank you. What is going on? 
Why don't you want your cousin in our home? Listen, Abel. I need you out of this, okay? Just stay away from this. Let me handle it myself. Come on, darling. You know the story. You know where I'm coming from. You know how rough and tough this journey has been. Did you ever see any relative around me? No. There's a little light. Cousins are coming from all angles. And you want me to accept that? Hell no! She should go back to where she's coming from. I don't want her here. Simple. He said, yes, but must he visit my poor father's treatment of him on me? Eh? I don't even know how close or how far he were with my father. Chris was my closest cousin when we were small. I was thinking I can run to him any time, any day, but look at what he's doing to me now. Is, is, is it fair? Is it fair? Take it easy, okay? Take it easy. I promise you I will still talk to him. But I need to serve his food first. Can I can I sit? Sure. This is your home. Do whatever you like. Okay. Can I join you? No, don't bother yourself. Just have a have a seat. If your husband insisted that this Amanda should leave his house, why then did you interfere? I... Actually, I, I thought I would have stayed to hear the end of the story. To you know how she fell from that height to an uncompleted building. But the story is too long. Sonny, yeah. Sonny, 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 this woman needs help. And I have the mind to help her, but I need to know about her before helping her so I don't land myself into trouble. Mr. Sonny, I know he wants to help me and he's already helping me. That is why I need to be very detailed in explaining myself so that it will be easier for him to verify my story and have no doubt. Okay, go ahead. I didn't want Amanda to leave because being his only relative I had met since our wedding, I did not want his family to say I influenced him. Anyways, Chris was just not happy with Amanda being around. He kept on insisting that she left. At a point, he became physical.
this on your face? What happened? Chris beats me and sends me out of the house. He did what? No. This is wrong. This is wrong. Why would you why would you do a thing like this? It's okay. My wife. You're a very nice person. I wish you have a better husband. Yes. Chris is very violent. Yes. You have to be very careful so that he will harm you. What you did is very unfair. As a young woman, where did you expect her to go? I don't care. I don't. All I want is for her to leave my house. And what would your family say about me? Don't you know they would accuse me of orchestrating this? I'm already having issues with my people. I don't want to have issues with yours. Honey, I don't want to see her face in my house. Because each time I look at that face, I see my uncle ripping from where he did not sow. Please, listen to me. For my sake, just let her be. Please. It's all right. It's fine. Because of you, I am... I am going to let her stay for two months. That's the best I can do for her. But please, tell her to stay away from me while in my house. Sure. Thank you. Chris agreed that Amanda could stay for just two months and get out. But as it is, Amanda was quite lucky because a few days later, there was an opening in the department at the office. So, I pleaded with my boss to offer her the job. So, was that Amanda qualified? Of course she was. She read business administration, but when she couldn't get a job, she opened a patent shop. But that didn't go well too. Anyways, I took Amanda to see my boss. Blessing, your friend has a very good CV, but no working experience. The reason I'm giving in to your plea on her behalf is because the job is not really demanding for now. And I believe she'll be working under you directly. Young lady, you have the job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank ma. you very much, Ma. Don't mention it. It's my responsibility. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Blessing. I believe in her judgment. <laughs> thank you, Ma. I really appreciate Don't mention it. Yeah. Don't mention it there. Please, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ma, God bless you. Bless you too. Don't mention it there. It's nothing. Just thank her. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, Thank you. Huh? You did not return to the office. Yes. How did it go? My friend I went to see, she's traveling with her husband. Uh, yes. Knowing that I'm, I'm under pressure to leave this house. But she asked me to take her one bedroom apartment. Wow. Um, what did you tell her? I agreed, but there is a condition to that. You know, the house is well furnished. 
from the kitchen to the bedroom. Everything is furnished. Yes. But she asked me to pay for everything. And the remaining rent. Ah. Oh. So how much would that be? 1.2 million euro. And I don't have such money. I even begged her, let me be paying gradually, gradually, but she refused. She said she needs money to buy her ticket. Wow. Wow. What are we doing now? Um, don't worry, okay? Don't worry, I, I'll bring you up. You? Yes. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to give you a check of 1.2 million naira in her name. Oh my then extra 300,000 for yourself. Oh my. Mind you, I am not giving you this money out of love. I am giving you this money so that you will disappear and never show your face here again. Don't let me repeat myself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. My wife, please help me thank him, okay? It, it's nothing, okay? And do not listen to what he said. You were always invited here. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. I really appreciate your point. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. Oh God, please. <laughs> <sighs> We're back to where we started, and um, this is the parlor. <laughs> yes, it, it, it's small, but it's okay for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very okay for a young lady. You have your privacy, you have your sitting room to yourself, your kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, all to yourself. Yeah. And the house is fully furnished. <laughs> Your friend has taste. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Blessing. I just want to say thank you very, very much. Oh, you've been so nice to me. I wonder what I would have done without you. Where I would have been without you. Oh, Amanda, it's bless you. God bless you so much. It's okay. God bless you too. <laughs> You're such wow. a nice person. It's lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so fine. And the flowers. Oh. Red is my favorite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Let me Thank go. <laughs> I'm really sorry I'm home late again. Honestly, the workload at the office has been crazy since my promotion. I have you had anything to eat? What kind of stupid question is that? Did you keep anyone here to take care of me? Oh, have you forgotten I don't like eating out? I know, and I am sorry. That is why I prepared your meal. All you needed to do is microwave it whenever you want to eat. You are mad. Blessing, you are mad. You are out of your mind. Are you supposed to be coming home by this time? Or don't you know you are a married woman? What exactly do you want from me? What? I have done everything possible to satisfy you. But I can see that all my efforts will never be enough for you. In spite of my busy schedule at the office, I still do the domestic chores in this house. Don't I ensure your clothes are clean? Don't I cook and clean this house? Or is it too much for you to go into the kitchen and serve yourself already cooked food? What more do you want from me? If you mind, you are insane. Blessing, you lost it. Blessing, you are a fool. You are silly. Oh, you think I don't know, right? You think I don't know you are cheating on me? Who 
are those boys that you usually drop off after work? I have heard about it and I have seen myself. Those are my colleagues. My colleagues in the office. How dare you accuse me of cheating on you? If I slap you, if I lay my hands on you, you will regret ever seeing me in this life. You know what? From tomorrow, you will go to that office with public transportation. Oh, you walk. Where's the car key? Can I have the car key? Give me the car key! And if I ever see any of those boys around you again, you won't like me. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Um, sorry for disturbing. Please, I'm looking for number seven of this street. Um, this is number two. Number seven is that house over there. The greenhouse yeah. over there. Yes, that's number seven. Um, but I've gone to that place and they say the person I'm looking for is no more living there. I don't understand. I'm just confused. Let me see the paper. Oh, oh it's, it's a mistake. Um, this is a street. This is number two and that is number seven. Okay. But what you're looking for is a close. Yes. Oh. And the house you're looking for is just across the major road. The, the close across the major road. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks very much. I, I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're such a beautiful soul. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Ah. Hey, hey, just, 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 just hold it. A step towards me on this gate, I'll kill you. You are useless. Blessing, you are a fool. In fact, you are a harlot. So, despite the fact I took the car from you, you got one of your numerous boyfriends to bring you home, right? What are you talking about? He did not bring me Will home. Will you shut up? Shut up! I saw you! I caught you! You are a prostitute. I just saw you now giving out your details to that just, boy! Can you just stop this? You're embarrassing me on your own side for crying out loud. You just speak to me in that manner. You just... <laughs> You better go back to that boy. Call him to come and take you home because you're not entering this house. Try me. If I see you here, I will kill you. 
Actually, this is really how it feels to get it hard. Shuts out into pieces and no room to mend it all. Trying hard to push the past away, but it's difficult. Difficult. Rising every morning, but you're stuck. Hey, yes, tonight. Feeling deeply broken, but you cannot let it heal. Waving mountain memories, but it's difficult. Difficult. Though it may seem you fade in If you don't want to die, if you don't want to die, 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 you you don't want to die, you don't you don't want to die, 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 you don't want to you have to put the past behind you. It's okay. Eh? Chris is my cousin. But you know, he's a beast. Yes. He changed after my father's death. Hi. What did I do to him? What did I do to deserve this humiliation? Look at the way he embarrassed me in my neighborhood. I cannot live with such a man. He's very terrible. Yes. And what about that is my home? I can't just live like that. I know. I know. See, first thing tomorrow morning, we will go back there to let him know that what he did was wrong. Do not worry, okay? I will go with you. I promise you. All you need right now is good rest. You need to rest and stop crying. No matter what did I do to me? It, I know. What did I do it's to It's okay. Me? You did not do anything. Did Come did on, please stop. What did you did not do anything. You just need to be strong. Okay, please be strong. Be strong. Chris! Open this gate, Chris! Chris! Open this gate! Hey, stop here. What is it? What do you want? Chris, I live here. Yes. Hey, yeah, my friend. What is wrong? One more step from you. I will kill you. I'm not joking. One more step from you now, you will be a dead meat. Chris, what is wrong with you? Why don't you listen to her own part of the story? Why don't you? you? Shut up. That shuts me! Shut up! Who made you judge over this issue? Are you mad? Chris, I will not go anywhere because this is my house. I own this house. Hey! 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 Careful, careful, please. Okay. okay. All right. 1929 is about to repeat itself, right? Women revolution. You, you can't do anything. Idiot. What? What is he going to do? He cannot do anything! He's obviously very this mad! This is your house! We are going nowhere! Chris, come and do your... Hey! 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 Go! Rising every morning, but you're stuck, hey, yes, tonight. Feeling deeply broken, but 
you cannot let it heal with immortal memories but it's difficult difficult though it may seem you fading away but you have to put the past behind you and move on tomorrow is better don't you say you fade away but you Chris pulled a gun on us, on me, his wife. You see, he would have shot us. I told you Chris is crazy. He's a monster. I warned you. I need to go back to that house. What? I won't let him chase me out of my house just like that. Are you crazy? Do you want him to kill you? But we are talking about my house here. I need to get my stuff. I, I, I need to go back to work. I understand, okay? Let's see. You just have to let him cool off right now. Because he's roving mad. Yes. I will personally go to the boss and explain everything. Okay? Do not worry, I will do that. Just calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. Let him rest. It's okay. I'm here for you, okay? So how did it go at the office? My dear, it went well, but I really missed you. Hey, I missed you so, so much. Ah, oh, sorry. Mm. I understand. Mm. Mm. <sighs> that reminds me. I spoke with the boss lady today. I told her everything that happened to you. She was so, so sorry. She tried calling your line, but your phone was switched off. What happened to your phone? I don't even know why I kept it. I know the battery must have run down or something. Oh, really? Yeah. She said as she extend her greetings to you, she said you can take two weeks off so that you settle every problem that you have. Yes, before coming back to work. She did? Yes. Wow. Hey, she's such a wonderful woman, Bean. Say that again. She has such a kind heart. Mm -hmm. God bless her. Amen. I have to get my phone. I'll just charge it and call her. Oh, and thank her. don't stress yourself too much, okay? Don't worry. Once I get back to the office tomorrow, I will call you with my phone so that you speak with her. Hey. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Blessing, you don't need to thank me. You did the same thing for me. Hmm? <laughs> Problem. Okay. I know you must be hungry. I made jollof rice. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you know? That's what I want to eat. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, do I serve you now? No, 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 no. Let me just go and freshen up, okay? Then come downstairs and eat. Okay? Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'll be upstairs. Sure. Yes. Mm. I felt so safe and very comfortable in the arms of Amanda. I had every reason to believe so because of all that I did for her in the past. So, why didn't you report to your boss yourself? Oh wow, quite impressive. I 
think I'll give it a try. Oh, thank you very much, ma. It's all right. Go work on it. Okay, ma. Okay. Good morning, ma. And what are you doing here? I'm here to resume work, ma. And to thank you. Thank me for what? Is this um, your private business that you can go and come anytime it pleases you? What are you doing here? Ma, you, you were informed about my situation. What should... nonsense situation are you talking about? Um, uh, Amanda. Uh, um, please, ma. Uh, please. Amanda. Um, please, just get out of my office. Get out before I call the security. Um, no, please, just. I said get out. Both of you should leave my office. Ma. Get out of my office. Get out. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the nonsense leaving my office as as like a month coming back to tell me you're resuming work as who? This lady is traveling outside the country to visit her husband. Yes. When I brought up your issue, she said you lied to her, that she thought you a decent woman. Yes. When I tried to find out the issue, she waved it off. I believe Chris reached her. I don't. What have I done to deserve this? I can't afford to lose my job now. When is she? When is she traveling? When? She's traveling tonight, and she'll be spending two weeks. God, God, I'm finished. <sighs> that what is, do I do now? What do I do? That is not even the issue right now. Um, what? What is it? Calm down. It's not that serious, okay? You remember that my fiance that I told you that live in US? Yes, I do. He's coming back. So we decided that it would be wise for, for him to stay in the house instead of a hotel. So Okay. Um, that's fine. I, I can just sleep here in the city room while you take the bedroom. I'll I'll be up before you come out in the morning. Say I wish. But you don't know Brian. He, Brian is a very, very romantic person. Yes. And he loves privacy so much. You know? He loves crazy things. He can make love to me in here, city room, back of the bedroom, all over, everywhere in the house. See, he even like us walking naked. Serious. <laughs> so you see, you cannot stay here. But where do I go, Amanda? You know I don't have any money. I, mean, I don't even have money for hotel. It's just two weeks. I believe you will find a place to stay for two weeks. Eh? Also, you can. But, but don't worry, okay? Just hold on. This is 20,000 naira. Oh, come on, please. This will get you a place to stay, okay? For at least two weeks. You know, you cannot stay here because he's coming back with evening flights. So you, you, you just have to go. Tonight? Yes. But please stop crying. Stop this. Stop. It's fine. Please, bless him. Please. Please. I know you'll be fine, okay? It's okay. I just... I couldn't protest. I was just so overwhelmed. I simply collected the money and I left. I did not even know where I was going. 
But because it was evening and I needed to be safe and it was getting late, I just headed to a hotel in that neighborhood. A few days after, I ran out of money and couldn't pay for the hotel anymore. And I couldn't even feed. The uncompleted building was my only option. Due to the hunger, I developed ulcer. That was how you found me. Just in a twinkle of an eye, I lost everything. I don't believe her. Yes, I don't believe her. Her story is so weird and unbelievable. You tell me, how can someone crash like that? How can someone just crash like that? Eh? Even if her stories are true, something is following her. Yes. You check it. Her parents died because of her. Her own people don't want to have anything to do with her. Her husband sees the same thing and kicked her out of the house as if that was not enough she moved in with her friend amanda, amanda sees the same thing too and also kicked her out of the house amanda didn't throw her out of the house is that what you're telling me this is the same amanda she helped to secure a job in her company amanda tricked her and what did he do she kicked her out of the house so tell me I am giving you a friendly advice. Send this girl out of your house. This girl is bad luck. Bad luck. Send her out of your house. Obed, I am your friend and I have to advise you. Take my advice and say... You're all right, Mr. Sonny. Something is wrong with me. That is why I have no one to help me. Thank you, Mr. Obed. Thank you for your help. This girl is bad luck. Look at her. Go inside. Try to save your life. You want to kill yourself. Rising every morning, but you're stuck in yesterday night. Feeling deeply broken, but you cannot let it heal. Waving not.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good Where is your auntie? I saw her. She went out now quite long ago. She was going to the road to use the She was crying and singing. The rope? Crying and singing? Yes. Okay, let me see her inside. Though it may seem you're fading away, but you have to put the past behind you and move on. Tomorrow is better, though it may seem you're fading away, but you have to put the past behind you and move on. Tomorrow is better. Need a woman place, but you can. Listen, don't do this. 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 I'm taking you home with me. Do you know what it means to be rejected by everyone? Upon that, I am a destitute. I had to beg on the road to eat the day I left here. And for two days now, I have had nothing to eat. So tell me, what am I living for? I am assuring you that you'll never be a destitute again. Here is your home until you get your place back. Thank you so much. God will bless you. But why are you doing all this for me? Your situation reminds me of my... I was well to do. I had a wife and a child. But I lost them in a fatal car accident. The pain left me heartbroken over a year. During which my business failed. I have been surviving through my friend, Tony. I'm really sorry about your family. I'm sorry. God knows the best. Listen. I don't have money for now, as you can see. But I promise you that you will never go hungry again. Here is your home. Take me as a brother, a friend, and everything. I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to wash my gloves? 
Yes, I saw the heap of clothes in your room. I took them to wash it. Wow. That's wonderful. Well, you don't need to stress yourself. No, this, this is nothing. I'm not stressing myself. Okay. I... Okay, this is 15,000 Naira. I'm sure you use it to make us something for us to eat, as long as it can go. I'm sure you... Well, you said you have no money. Yes, I said I have no money. So I had to sell my phone. At least for us to eat. You sold your phone for me to feed. Oh, wait, this this is so much. Thank you. God will bless you. Amen. Thank you. I'll be inside. Okay, no problem. What's up, man? Okay. What was that I saw washing your clothes outside? Blessing, of course. Well, I went to pick her up yesterday. I didn't have rest of mine since she left. That of my decision saved her life. She was at the verge of committing suicide. Hmm. Anything in this life that will make someone attempt to take his or her own life. It's very serious. I I, 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 I should have given her the benefit of doubt. I don't know, but I think God for everything. I'm so sorry. That means the way I treated her and made her feel unwanted and rejected. Anyways, um, I want you to, though I don't really have much, but um, uh, I don't know how much is there. I want you to have this. Sonny, why are you looking at me like that? Come on, take this. <laughs> and uh, you can, you can still. Sonny. What are friends for? Sonny. Take it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, I appreciate. I appreciate. And uh, that reminds me, there is something I needed to have done since, and I need to do it now. Please, can we go? So what are we waiting for? Oh, <laughs> bad. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? Good morning, beautiful woman. My name is Obed Chuku, and here is my friend, Sonia Amechi. We are here in respect of your formal staff. Blessing Ademora by name. Oh, what about her? Well, oh, she's fine. By the special grace of God. I saved her from committing suicide a few days ago. So after telling us her story, made mention of working here as a staff. So we now decided to come and verify the authenticity of our story. That's why we are here. Oh Lord have mercy. I feel so guilty and sorry for being part of the reason she wants to take her life. Sorry, I don't understand how do you mean? Blessing worked for us, and she rose to the level of a manager. Wow. Later, she brought one Miss Amanda Ekenda to work with us. Months later, Blessing stopped to work for a week, and I asked Amanda her whereabouts. Madam, you stand for me. Yes, I did. I haven't been seeing Blessing. 
Hello, I'm talking to you, Amanda. Amanda, um, I'm talking to you. I don't know how to say this. Um, Blessing told me this in confidence. Blessing told you what? She, she traveled to Abuja for an interview with National Oil. Um, she, she's supposed to be back by now. But I don't know what is keeping her. The interview was two days ago. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Blessing went for an interview without informing me. Would I have stopped her from going for an interview? Now she has left a huge gap here. Why do people even take me for granted? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, madam, the truth of the matter is that Blessing had issue with her husband, who beat her up, threw her out from their home. She went to stay with Amanda, who advised her to go to the police. Why she report to you concerning her condition? She came back home and assured her that you've given her two weeks leave to go and settle her matter. That was why Blessing stayed out from work to pursue her matter. Hmm. Amanda lied to her and to me as well. Well, events unfolded and Amanda discovered and I know the truth. She stopped coming to work. Since then, I've been looking for a way to contact Blessing. Hmm. This world is indeed a strange place. Indeed. Even to the extent of biting the fingers that fed her. It's wrong. Hmm. I have news for you. Good and bad ones. So, tell me which one would you want to hear first? Anyone. I'm used to both. Alright then. Let me tell you the bad one first. I discovered that Amanda is behind all your family problems. As a matter of fact, Amanda is your husband's girlfriend. As a matter of fact, she must have minded all the issues you had with your boss. I, I don't understand. Amanda? Yes, Amanda. I, 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 I was nice to her. And she was nice to me too. No, no, it can't be. It's not possible. Amanda told your boss that you went to Abuja for a job interview. But she told you that she had spoken to your boss on your behalf. That was all a lie. What do you want me to do for you? Please, I need you to escort me somewhere. We'll be back soon. All right. But can you tell me where we are going to? Truly, this is really how it feels to get it hard. Shattered into pieces and no room to mend it all. Trying hard to push the past away, but it's difficult, difficult. Rising every morning, but you're stuck in yesternight. Feeling deeply broken, but you cannot let it heal. Waving not in memories, but it's difficult, difficult. Though it may seem you fade away. To put the past behind you and move on. Tomorrow is better, don't you see? You're fading away. But 
You cannot leave the cool. Hungry for the light, but you cannot leave the dark. Close your eyes and kiss your past a goodbye. It is difficult. Excuse me. I am looking for Amanda. The lady I used to stay here with, the one that just moved in some time ago. She didn't just move in now. She has been living here for over two years now. In fact, she's the first tenant in this apartment. I, 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 th I thought she just moved in. Okay, okay do, you, do you know her whereabouts? Where, where is she now? I've not been seeing her for some time now. Yeah, I saw her last time. She came in here with one man. She rushed in to pick something and they all left. Thank you. Thank you. Though it may seem you're fading away, but you have to pull the past behind you. On. Tomorrow is bad. Why are people so wicked? <laughs> After everything I did for them, they pay me back with evil. Such is life, my dear. You must see bad people to appreciate good ones. Stop crying. After dark comes light, and after storm comes calm. I have good news for you. Please, what is it? Just, just tell me, because let me be happy for once in my life. Your boss, Madam Stella Obiese. After learning the truth, she's so eager to have you back at work. You're joking. I am not joking. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have finally heard my prayers. Thank you. Thank right. you. And um, you will need new clothes, new shoes, and transport money to go back to work. So Sonny gave me fifty thousand naira to give to you. Thank you. It's okay. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Please don't do that blessing. Just stand up. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Okay? <laughs> I've been in the room waiting for you. Mm. Mm. Well, I remember that I left my phone here. So okay. I came to pick it up. Get in here, and I'm seeing a lot of messages and missed calls. Okay. One of the messages from the estate agent Ooh. that wants to help me sell this property. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. so, I'm talking to him. What are they saying? He said he wants to see the sea of O. Okay. And I said, 
can go back to the house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I got you back. I will not let you go. Okay? I have to give him the last message. Okay. You have mm -hmm. to give him the last right. message. You <laughs> Stop! What? <laughs> Stop it! Words. We are going back into that room. Mm -hmm. To continue from where we started. <laughs> this time around. <laughs> Seriously, it's been on my mind to say this, but I don't know how to place it. Yeah? I don't want to mention it to her because I don't want her to start thinking I have interest in her property. One thing you need to understand is that reporting this case to the police will not help issues. Yeah? Police will only complicate the whole thing. We can handle this, you and me. So I understand what you're saying. But I need to discuss it with Blessing first. I need to discuss it with her. Oh, there she comes. Oh. Good day, gentlemen. Hey, good day. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. So you, so you're standing outside. Obed, I hope you served Sonny some of the pepper soup I made. Oh, the pepper soup. It was nice. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, it was oh. delicious. I'm really glad you liked oh, it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I got this for you. Wow. What's that? An iPhone. Hey. iPhone. <laughs> wow, it's a phone. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. You once sold your phone so that I could eat. Listen, Obed. As long as I can, I will make sure you use the latest phones. Mm. <laughs> Listen, it's like you walk every day to get me gifts. When will you start saving for yourself? This is nothing compared to what you have done for me. To be honest, you gave me hope to live again. Hmm. To the glory of God, um, it's the Lord's doing. If there is something you want us to discuss. Yes, it's... but first of all, we have to go inside, eh? Yes. Okay, I also have something to discuss with you. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Obed, Obed. Yeah? iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I have been thinking of what we can do to help you. Revitalize your business and get you back to doing something. So, I spoke to my boss, and she has agreed to make you one of our distributors. Oh my God! <laughs> what, what that means is, wherever you have an order to supply any of our building materials. All you need to do is present your LPO and you will get whatever products you need without depositing a cobble. Hey! Mm -hmm. Wow! <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> good news. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> that is not all. I'm not done. As you all know, NMPC is building their new headquarters in Abuja. 
So I discovered that the man in charge of the contract is my late father's friend. And I spoke to him on your behalf if you could be one of the suppliers and he agreed. He agreed, yes. <laughs> so you have two quotations to write. <laughs> hey! God is faithful. No, it's not dream. It's real. No, I, I, I don't even know if it's dream or not. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I don't know you should do all these things this for me. This is good news. You have done more than enough. Uh... Obed, you are a good man. And I really wish I could do more than this. <laughs> thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate. I'm so happy. Congrats, man. Congrats, congrats. 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 Thanks, thanks, thanks. Welcome thanks. back. Welcome back. <laughs>
And what are you doing here? Do you think you could simply push me out of my Let's house? And I would simply go down, giving up my properties? Hell no. <laughs> my, oh my. I give it to both of you, smart planners. Being aware that I have no relatives and my only source of fighting you is my office. You, Amanda, schemed and got me fired. Then you threw me out of your house when Chris threw me out of my own house. Also that I would be so concerned with survival while you both sell off my house and properties? <laughs> Bravo, Pinky and the Brain. I am just grateful that God is bigger than both of you. So tell me, how long have you known each other? Listen, leave this compound this minute. Mm -hmm. Live before I do something that you and I will regret. Oh, you don't have to. No, 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 you heard him. Leave! No, no need to raise your voice. Get out! Take your dogs out <laughs> of my house! No, you don't have to raise your Get voice. Out. Get out! Get out! Go. Get out! Come. We came with visitors. <laughs> Good evening, man. You must be priest, Adinoya. Yes, I am Chris Adinoya. This is from the court. By this court injection. You are to vacate this property within three hours and never to set your feet here again. Young man, you have limited time, so start backing now. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> they came here empty handed, so they came with nothing, so they have to go with nothing. Everything they own belongs to me. Even my clothes? Your clothes belong to me. My bags are inside. I, I, I just have to pick. Okay, let me pick a few of my things. Young man, move. Okay. Get the key from me. Keep moving, please. I, 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 we need and to you get have our the, You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you do will be held against you as evidence in the court of law. Three hours. You hours. have the right to an attorney. You think you are smart? No. There is no peace for the wicked. You took my pure and innocent heart for granted. Now God has finally brought his judgment on you. <laughs> oh. Hi, Cos. Our hope washed down the drain 
Didn't I ask you to kill her? Didn't I ask you to kill her? Why didn't you kill her when she was in this house? Please, allow me to think. Oh, I should allow you to think. You start better thinking of how to bring those documents back. Is my start name thinking. on those documents? Did you see my name there? Excuse me. The house I bought was registered in her name and mine. Besides, the mother is already in court. There's an injunction against me. I, 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 Abukomaka, leave me alone. Ha! What do we do now? I don't know. I don't know. If you had listened to me and stayed away for me to get some more money from her, this wouldn't have happened. But see where your greed has landed us. We've lost everything. Allow me to think. Just let me be, please. Everything. Everything I worked for. All my time. You popped out from nowhere and you spoiled it. I told you, stay away. Stay away. Let me do something. Let me work out something. You were just everywhere. Are you ready to go? Yes. Oh. I don't know how to thank you enough. Come on, Blessing, you've thanked me enough. Both by your words and by your actions. I'm the one who owes you gratitude. I'm waiting for Sonny to come so we can go and pick up the second LPO. I'm grateful to you. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, how, how will you cope with cooking and laundry? Well, I will miss you on those, but I will manage. You know you can always come to the house to eat, right? I hate to say goodbye, but... This is not a goodbye for me. You're only going back to your house to safeguard your property. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. first day you met her. And I know she loves you too. But you see, this lady has a lot of blessings and virtue. And these are the qualities any man can die to have in a woman. Bro, I'm giving you a brotherly advice. What are you waiting for? Engage this girl. Make her to believe that you're for real. <laughs> Sonny, you know I can do that and you know why. Please, let's go. I don't understand you. Good bit. Ain't you going again?
you you didn't cook. You know I don't know how to cook. Okay? I don't want anything to mess my nails up. Uh, please don't go there. Is it that you can't cook because of your nails or you don't know how to cook at all? Uh, Andy, come on. You know I don't know how to cook. Yes. I, I don't want to cook for you and you start complaining that it's not tasty. So, uh, please. Uh, what have I done to myself? What was all that? These are things Blessing did and I took them for granted. Uh, okay, fine. Besides, if I say let me cook for you, you, you don't even give me money. Do you? What happened to the money I've been sending to your account all this while? Don't you have savings? Oh my god. I took care of myself. I bought some clothes, some beautiful hairs. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, okay. Besides, I, I, I was expecting you to come with a lot of money. After you must have killed Blessing. And you came back here complaining that. going to please if you're going out to get food i will go with you me i'm very hungry also yes i know some good eateries around here where where i do eat chris hold on don't can you imagine you want me to cook for you do i look like blessing stupid nonsense i just mess up my nose <sighs> No, Obed. I, I'm sorry if I woke you up from sleep. No, no. I'm not actually asleep. I'm just a bit tired. Maybe I should let you go back to sleep. No, you don't have to. I'm awake. Did you call to tell me anything? Um, well, I, I... I just wanted to know if you are alright. I just wanted to know if you're fine. Oh. Thank you for caring and for having me in mind. And I'm fine. Alright. At least I can go back to sleep now that I know that you're fine. Good night. Good night. <laughs> sleep well.
sorry to interrupt you. As I passed you, I sensed this heavy burden and darkness around you. Who are you? I am Pastor Samuel by the grace of God. There is a thick darkness around you. And as I look further, this darkness is getting thicker. What's that your name again? Sorry, Pastor... Pastor Samuel by the grace of God. Okay, uh, if I may ask, does this darkness mean trouble for me? Yes. And when I asked why, the Spirit revealed to me that you brought it upon yourself. This darkness is from your background. You were supposed to be wretchedly poor as a result of your faulty foundation. But grace found you and brought you light. Things changed for you, but you shut out the light by yourself. Pastor, honestly, I am... I am still trying to understand you. Can you please expand shit? You see, Grace found you in the nature of a woman. And this woman brought you light and abundant blessings. But you threw this woman away. And now she's gone with her light. Anyone who harbors this woman harbors light and abundant blessing in his life. Pastor, you are correct about that woman. But what do I do? She's gone. I, 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 I really offended her. But... So sad. People don't recognize what they have until they lose it. The only hope you have right now is to bring this light back to yourself. Otherwise, I see wretchedness tearing you in the face. I leave you in peace. What kind of daydream is this? Is this supposed to be a revelation? A warning. I have lost my blessing. I have lost the blessing that came to bless me. Because of that Jezebel. My life is ruined. My life is ruined because of that Jezebel. Should I go back to blessing? Even if it means starting all over again, I don't care. How will she even forgive me? That was the point. My life is just messed up. It's messed up. worth running away from. You've ruined my life. If not for you, I would have been with blessing. Where am I? <sighs> well, I saw the visa agent. He said I should tell you that there are some documents you need to submit to him. And wait, Chris, were you actually planning to leave me? Are you trying to run away from me? Why didn't you ask him? I asked him and he said I should ask you. Why shouldn't I run away from you? Tell me! Haven't you traumatized me enough? Isn't it 
high time I took a walk for God. I've messed my life up after everything I've done for you. Listen, Amanda. Amanda, you are my worst nightmare and I am done dreaming. Oh. I was a fool to have succumbed to your cheap blackmail mm. and sent blessing away. Enough is enough. <gasps> enough. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, Chris, do not dare me. Don't forget I have your dark secret in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Go ahead mm. and do whatever you want to do. I don't give a hoot. Oh, okay then. No problem. I will do exactly what you said. Yes, but once I walk out from this door, get ready for the visitation of the police. Rubbish. Hello, Blessing, how are you? Oh, you're almost at my place? Okay, it's alright, I'm home. Alright.
there's water. Is everything alright? Mother is dead. What? Amanda dead? What happened to her? Who killed her? The police called me to inform me. Chris killed her. Oh. They wanted to know if I am his wife. But I told them we were married but now separated. And he has been living with his girlfriend Amanda. Oh. That's a pity for her. So tell me, how do you feel about the news? Nothing. I'm indifferent. I'm here for another reason, actually. I want to find out something from you. Okay, go ahead. Obed, how do you see me? You are one of the most beautiful souls that I've ever been lucky to come across in my life. How do you see me as a woman? Very attractive. Very. But I don't turn you on. You do turn me on. As a matter of fact, I must say the truth. Every night I wish to have you in my arms. Haven't you told me so? Since I, I met you and lived with you, I only saw pity in your eyes. I didn't see desire. It is because of the circumstances I met you. I took care of you not because I wanted anything from you, but because I fell in love with you. Thank you. 